My name is Brian Cushing. I'm the program director at Locust Grove, and every year we try to put on a special program for St. Patrick's Day uh, because William Cron, the original owner of the property, uh, came to, the North, to, to North America from Ireland. He came from Dublin in uh, the 1760s. Uh, but this year we do have a public health crisis uh, underway and the most responsible thing to do is to minimize contact with each other. So we're pushing that off for as long as we need to. Uh, we had also had a, we were also thinking about a video about whiskey uh, to, as part of our historic cocktail series. Um, but we're not all in the office right now. I'm working from my own dining room at the moment. It also really occurred to me I'm not the most qualified person to talk to you about Irish whiskey. Um, I like it uh, an awful lot. We've got a uh, proper 12 here. I've got it because uh, it, a friend left it here on New Year's. Um, quite enjoyable, but I don't really know enough to comment uh, on that. But it got me reflecting about uh, St. Patrick's Day and what it means to me and maybe what it can mean uh, to us all uh, right now at this juncture. Uh, my family uh, came over from Ireland in the middle of the 19th century uh, during the famines. Uh, they came to America, they became Americans, they very quickly became Kentuckians. Uh, so of course in Kentucky we have our own whiskey heritage with uh, bourbon. And so generally I tend to spend St. Patrick's Day kind of, kind of quietly. Um, nothing wrong with the celebrations, it's a wonderful occasion to celebrate, uh, but I do tend to kind of take some time to reflect on uh, what that meant uh, to pick up everything that they had known in Ireland and come across the Atlantic Ocean and build a life uh, here in the United States uh, and ultimately lead to me. And think about the fact that those people live in me, that their qualities live in me, and that's something that I take a lot of encouragement from, um, a lot of uh, comfort. And uh, it's not an experience that is unique to the Irish. And I've heard uh, people from all kinds of different backgrounds talk about uh, reflecting on the times of hardship that their families had from their heritage um, that kind of gives them some spirit of hope, that story of survival. Um, no matter what your background is, everybody has um, a story of, uh, of overcoming a great odd, of, of making it, and of being survivors that ultimately led to you today. Uh, and so my invitation uh, for St. Patrick's Day as we take a step back, as we don't go out so much, is, is probably we're going to be a little bit quieter because people are, are nervous uh, right now. My invitation to you is to take some time to think about the strength that your ancestors had that lives on in you and know that you have it too and that we're all going to come out on the other end of this and, and we'll probably be better people for it. So whatever your background is, wherever you're from, here's to you, and we'll see you on the other end.